I had a dream. I hope it will come true. Oh! Um, I am going to be reviewing this short today. So yeah, so today guys, and today, I'm going to be reviewing the Pixar short, Lava. So yeah, so before I go, I'm going to say this. Yes, it is going to be Disney 100 this year. So yeah, cue the intro. Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's Film Corner 2023 here, and today, guess what guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing Lava came in the year of 2014, so yeah, so I'm going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah, so basically what the plot's about, in the Pacific Ocean aimed the beauty of, of um, typical islands and the natural of the ocean volcanoes, it was a million, um, your loved story plays out as lonely um, volcano hopes to find in a main in main to I mean um, by singing to the water. So yeah, so that's basically what the plot's about about this short. So yeah, so I do remember that this short actually did came out at the Hosanna International Animation Film Festival back on um back on June 14th of um, 2014, and it actually premiered in front of Inside Out, yeah, before Inside Out, uh, on um, June 19th of 2019, so yeah, and I do remember that, th that this short is actually directed by James Ford Murphy, which, who was also, um, who, um, also, um, did, um, he also did work at Pixar as well, which he was an animator on A Bug's Life, Find uh, Dory, I mean, um, he, on A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, um, also Zinc, etc. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, what do I think of this short? I have to say, this is definitely one of Pixar's best shorts. I mean, yeah. I mean, this short is actually a musical, actually. Which, um, I know, um, there are people that would count Coco as a musical, even though, um, the characters don't break out into song. Which I, I can actually count it as a musical, even though the characters don't break out into song, even though, um, until they, um, go on stage or, um, play their guitar, which I can actually count Coco as a musical. So, yeah, even though there are people that say it's not a musical, but I can actually count it as a musical. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, what do I think of this short? I have to say, I mean, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, this short was definitely great. I mean, yeah. And also, um, yeah. And... And also the song, um, also this was actually, um, the idea, um, um, the idea began in a crossroads, attending a, attending a wedding in the, um, of his sister who is married at the age of 40, I mean, 43. The sister, um, um, stood, um, stood up and to a, to a lar, which, sorry, I mispronounced that name, but it's okay. And Laura, which I mispronounced the name, and sorry, I just didn't know that word, so yeah. But also, yeah. And also, um, yeah. And even the song in the movie was definitely really good, so yeah, and also, yeah. And now let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by, um, uh, the director himself, um, um, James Ford Murphy, which honestly, yeah, it's still phenomenal to this day, I mean, yeah. And now let's talk about the animation of this short, which honestly, the movie looks photorealistic. Like, honestly, I mean, the animation looks gorgeous. I mean, enough said. So, yeah, I mean, it still holds up to this day nine years later. So, yeah, so overall, guys, I have nothing else to say about this short. So, yeah, so so if you haven't seen Lava, where have you been? I recommend it. It is streaming on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, so I'm going to give Lava a 10 out of 10. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of my short review on Lava? So, yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe my channel, and make sure to like this video. So, yeah, and also, guys, happy Mardi Gras today. So, yeah, so, and also stay tuned for my last review of February of 2023 with Meet the Parents, which will be coming out this Friday on my channel on um, February 24th. And my um, sneak peek reviews for my March reviews of this year, which will be coming out this Saturday. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, 
So I'll see you guys there and bye.